Hi folks, we are trying to answer this question, what brand of coffee makers do you use in your office? Now short of doing a survey in all the office to ascertain what make and brand of coffee machines you use, search engine rampage is one of the best resources that we turn to. The assumption is this, if the brand comes out often in the top 10, then it's highly likely that the office managers, the HR managers will click to do an opt-in and uh, get an inquiry and ultimately lead to a purchase or, or renter of the coffee machine in their office. Okay, And here are a few results, the top 10 results for this location. We are looking at Malaysia first. So you notice that one of the key brands that comes out is the Longi. And let's just say if we go over to our country, Singapore, of course you can see that the search is office coffee machine. Again, you can see that the top 10 results is DeLonghi as well. Now there are a few there are a few aggregators such as ourselves that we give a recommendation and usually deals on coffee machines like free on loan. You don't have to pay a single cent and uh, very very reasonable packages so check us out if you'd like to know more drop us a message otherwise these are the few brands that are, we see that is popular according to google delonghi jura and frankie now the assumption is because they are in the top 10 results so it's highly likely that uh, the office managers the hr managers will click on them and use them for the office coffee solutions now in this video, we would like to learn a little bit more from DeLonghi. They have a new machine, it's, uh, it's meant for home, which uh, is great for a small office as well. Let's hear it from a barista champion, what he says about this DeLonghi coffee machines. Today I'm going to show you uh, one of the new products from DeLonghi, it's called the Last Specialista uh, Espresso Machine. So this is a new uh, machine, it's meant for home and uh, it allows you to create very tasty espressos and as well as uh, your milk-based beverages at home. Uh, unlike conventional uh, semi-auto espresso machines that requires a space for the main body espresso machine itself, uh, it also requires a space for coffee grinders. Right? But for this, they have uh, put it up into one machine with an inbuilt uh, grinding, so they help to save space and as well as uh, create uh, more convenience for you as well with some of the technologies that you can see on the screen itself. So, uh, maybe you can take a look at what's happening on the front of the screen. It allows you to choose the amount of grounds of coffee that you need over here. And uh, it allows you this, uh, this button here actually allows you to set between some of the recipes that you have uh, put into the system so that it actually follows the recipe every time you brew the coffee. And lastly, you can also switch between espresso, americano, or uh, a big black cup of coffee. All right. So it actually sets the amount of water that is needed to actually brew uh, your coffee. So to start, uh, we're going to take a look at the smart temping station. All right. Uh, with this, it actually allows you to just uh, dose the coffee without actually keep, uh, making a mess in your kitchen. So once you locked it in, it will actually automatically grind uh, the coffee. And what you see on the hopper here, it actually holds about 250 grams of coffee beans in there. All right, just nice. It's about the size of the coffees that you usually buy from your favorite coffee roasters. Okay. So once you're done uh, with the grinding, all right, you don't need to pull the pot filter out. In fact, you can use the smart, smart temping system to actually temp your coffee. So. With one pull, you actually will temp your coffee properly and it also prevents a mess in your kitchen. So you can pull out and actually insert right back into the powder filter or into the preset button that I've already done or you do press OK. It actually tells the machine to start brewing your espresso. Very good. Right, with the espresso done, and leave it aside while we prepare the milk to incorporate together with your coffee. Right. So over here, I have one portion of milk 
uh, that's meant for a cup of coffee serving. Uh, like how we would introduce with most, like how we introduce with most uh, semi-auto habits is to actually perch the wand before you use them, so they can build up uh, the temperature as well to to release some of the uh, condensation that's caught between the wands, right? So for this function, it allows you to set between a flat and a foam uh, to curate uh, to get more air into your milk, right? So we can use this to for our milk-based coffee. You can leave it in the wand there. Then we could introduce the wand, and you just create a frothy milk for your espresso coffee. So I reach the desirable temperature that you want for your milk, you can turn off. And it's a good habit to clean your steam one and put it to perch. Once you have done so, you can turn it off. And you could introduce your foam or your milk together with your espresso to create a nice velvety smooth cappuccino. And here you go, a cup of coffee from the last specialista. So when it comes to cleaning, after using the uh, last specialista, uh, there are a few areas that we need to take note uh, to clean them. So of course, the uh, group head that we use to brew our espressos, is good to give them a scrub uh, on the surface underneath. And as well as to use a wet cloth or a damp cloth to wipe the bottom of the smart temper. All you do is just to press it down and just uh, give a clean wipe, right? Just to remove some of the grinds that might get stuck underneath the smart temper. And lastly, uh, we could also clean the milk wand by removing the wand, all right? And use a clean cloth to clean it and probably use some warm water to actually clean or soak the uh, wand into the uh, hot water as well, all right? This will help us kill some of the, bac uh, the bacteria that might build up over in the wand itself. And lastly, the tray we could remove and as well to discard the wastewater in a way and to clean uh, the tray before putting it back. Uh, these are some of the areas that you can take note when uh, cleaning your last specialista coffee machine.